Hello guys, that is Sorcerer here again, and welcome to the 14W7A Snapshot update for Minecraft. Now, funny story, I was just about to go to sleep, and then I found out that Dinnerbones tweeted out the new snapshot. Uh, this was around 6 a.m. my time, so said a sorcerer be very sleepy right now. But sure enough, I'm here with Shilix. If you look down there, he's kind of fishing pufferfish on land. I don't understand, but okay. Uh, <laughs> and we popped in the jar for the server, and we made a masterpiece. Look at this place. Doesn't it look beautiful? I think I just broke something. But either way, for this snapshot, I won't be covering the new scoreboard systems, as well as the new land feature, because... Uh, I stated this before, scoreboards, I just don't know how to do them, and LAN, I don't have two accounts to show it off, but it was basically, uh, if you enable LAN, you can have spectating mode. Yay. <laughs> but so let's begin here, and let's show the new features. So the first new feature, besides, uh, she looks, uh, seals, <laughs> ha, 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 GG. Okay, so the first feature I'm going to show is, no, get away from me. Uh, is that we have a new block here, the the the, 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 the iron trap doors. Now it works the same way as uh, just regular iron doors, but using um, I guess levers or some type of power source, you're allowed to open them. Okay, so our next feature here is a new command for the command block. Now what this command does, I'm gonna put it in the description. It's uh, a little sample command that Mojang gave us. But basically what it does, it will check your slot 6, which is basically slot number 7, if you go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is actually 7. Um, and then it will check and see if you have the item uh, listed here. So in this case, it checks for a diamond sword, and then I have to be on the slot. So not only do I have to have the item in my inventory, but I also have to have it in the slot. So what you want to do is have a comparator attached to the command block and then have redstone signals leading out to it. Now, if I was to power it up here, nothing would happen. Uh, if I was to power it up while having the item in my inventory, it will say found set of sorcerer. It will say it's true, and then it will input a signal. And of course, from here, you could either extend it, put a repeater, etc. Now, since we're already on the subject of command blocks here, we have another feature with dispensers. Now, dispensers now have the ability to dispense and place command blocks. Now the cool thing about this is that, um, oh actually there's another feature before we go to the cool part. Um, if you hold, uh, was it L, uh, was it control, L control and then you uh, middle click basically get the, getting the block again, you not only have the um, command block but you have the MBT data as well as the command block. So if I was to, actually let me place it first to show you, place it down, it will have everything that this command block had. Um, other block data if I was to, um, let's put this in here, do the exact same thing, crouch, middle click, put the dispenser, and the items inside the dispenser was will be saved. So that's pretty cool, and then of course, uh, if I power it up, the dispenser pops the uh, command block, and then it has the data in it, and all that fun stuff. Now this could be used for different applications, uh, mini games, custom maps, etc. Um, you could place the command block inside, or maybe you get a command block that you have to de deliver to a certain area. It dispenses it, then um, redstone somehow triggers it, and then you get a command for the game, or for the custom app. So our next feature is very simple, it's just a debugging tool. Uh, if you look at a block now, it will tell you what location that block is um, currently at. So I'm looking right here at the grasp, and if you look carefully at the very bottom, it says 204. 63 171 and if I was to look at the block right next to it it elevated one one block higher and I moved uh, I believe one over to the, 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 the I think that's X I think X yeah I'm moving to the X so I guess is this is good for um, pinpointing exactly what block you want to teleport or if there was a command you wanted to I guess replace a certain block so you don't have to like, okay, so I'm going to guess I'm standing on this block. I could just look at it now. So that's pretty cool. Now before we go into the last and final feature, I did make a little clock here that basically has the same command from the first command block. Although I'm using slot number 7 for this demonstration. And what this command block will basically do is scan um, for the closest player. 
And if I have the diamond sword in my um, seventh slot or eight, if you count one to eight or zero to seven, doesn't really matter. And I have it in my hand, it will activate and then it will emit a signal. And then from here, you could put like another command block, do some other shenanigans. If I was to, you know, take it off, then the power will go away. And honestly, this is a better design than to just constantly flip the lever or um, a button, etc. But that's pretty much it on that part. So our last feature here is called the execute command. Now she looks like myself had way too much fun with this. As you can tell, we kind of made our little, we kind of made a little forest in the process. But basically this command is very simple. It basically will search for an entity block or even player and then it will use a command on that in real time basically using its position. So for this video, let's do the one that Mojang gave us, which was the chickens. And what basically it would do, it will search for all the chickens within a certain area, which is all the loaded chunks, because we're not specifying a certain radius. And then it will fill them all with glass. Pretty cool, right? Now this could work with anything else. So if I wanted to, um, uh, let's make some entities. Let's do some crazy stuff here. Okay, so let's, let's do this. Let's do slash execute. Let's put every single entity and let's make a height of four and let's change it to stone. Okay, so every single entity, oh no, Shilix, don't do this. Okay, so every single entity, including myself, uh, so all the chickens that were here are now Medusa's stone pillars. Uh, everything that's, you know, I guess over there, over there, everything, everything that's an entity would have that effect to them. And let's let's play around with Shilix for a second. Let's do first of all toggle downfall. Now where are you, Shilix? Let's go over here. His little house. Say hi. Let's see here. K K K K. Get ready. Say hi. Let's see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> Shilix. Yeah. And I could do the exact same thing. Uh, let's let's do d -d 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 entity. Let's change the name. <laughs> Set a source of cost. <laughs> oh my god, so brutal. Okay, so P, and then you want to put name equals Shilix, and then he is full of glass. So this uh, concept could be used for a lot of different mini games. Either you could have like uh, different teams jumping on certain blocks. Um, for example, if Shilix was to TP, let's see, Shilix over here, over here to this side, and then I was to quickly do this, wherever he's currently walking, uh, that area will become glass. Oh, where'd he go? Let's do this. There we go. Glass. Glass. See? More glass, and then glass again. So that's pretty cool, um, but I think that's pretty much it with the snapshot. Uh, there's a lot of cool features. Oh no, Shilix, don't do this! did it he did it but anyway so hope you guys enjoyed the snapshot review um it is very early for you know snapshot for me i'm very tired right now so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like thank you shilix for being i guess i guess i guess i guess i'm tired good night <laughs>